Hello everybody, how is everyone doing? Welcome to Isabella Banks YouTube channel where we discuss all things Harry, Meghan and the level up journey. If you're new here, I'm Wizzy and it's great to meet you virtually. Today is going to be a different type of video. Usually we discuss Prince Harry, Meghan and their level up journey. However, I thought it would be a great idea to drop this video for all those preparing to go to Nigeria to show their support to Harry and Meghan while they're in Nigeria. Every country is different and Nigeria is no exception. You cannot pack or prepare for Nigeria as you would for a normal tropical country. There might be some similarities, but if you go in unprepared, you will come back with red eyes and bleeding from every direction. <laughs> Here are my tips on what you need to prepare for a trip to Nigeria. In my view, there are six critical things you need to know before heading off to Nigeria that will guarantee your safety and health. Let's dive right in. First off, you need a mosquito repellent. Nigeria is a tropical climate, which is a haven for these pesky critters. If you want to avoid falling ill with malaria and an itch-free trip, even more so than sunscreen, mosquito repellent is a must. The mosquitoes in Nigeria are military grade and can smell fresh meat a mile away. Without mosquito repellent, you will be sliced and dissected five minutes outside of an air-conditioned room, and you will end up feeling miserable throughout your trip in Nigeria. And on top of that, you may still fall ill with malaria not long after you return from your Nigerian trip. So the best thing to do is to get yourself mosquito repellent and slather it on. Come closer. The next thing you need to know is that you need to take preventative anti-malaria treatment, particularly if this is your first time in Nigeria. No one will tell you about this health technique, not because they're trying to hide anything, but because for most Nigerians, anti-malaria care is just a way of life. Bear in mind that despite all precautions, you are still likely to get bitten by a few mosquitoes. That's if you're trying to tell me that, hang on, didn't I just say, that you need to get mosquito repellent, yes. But a few pesky mosquitoes may still have the opportunity to bite you, okay? Therefore, it's a good idea for you to take preventative anti-malaria tablets just before your trip. While you're in Nigeria, slather on the mosquito repellent like no man's business. And on your flight back to your base, wherever it might be, Take another dose of anti-malaria tablets. You may still fall ill, but all the precautions you have taken will greatly reduce the severity of the malaria attack on your system. The third point is, once you land Nigeria, I cannot emphasize this enough, please respect yourself. You are not in America or the UK where the police force works to a standard of efficiency you're used to. Don't insult anyone, don't be rude, don't come with, I'm an American or I'm a British citizen, so you can't mess with me kind of attitude. Most Nigerians don't care where you're coming from. They may seem humble and a smiling submissive when you interact with them, but make one wrong move and the mask will come off. They will bleed you the way Kendrick did to drink. Sorry, I'm currently obsessed. <laughs> this obsession too shall pass. The point is, just respect your boundaries and don't attempt to speak to anyone like you're a colonizer and you'll be fine. To put what I'm saying into perspective, right? The economic situation of the country has brought about a situation where you might often find a PhD holder driving a cab. So don't think that that cab driver is a dirty illiterate just because he's driving you about and smiling patiently when you make stupid jokes. He's got a family to feed and he has decided not to be a criminal. Focus on what you came to Nigeria for and respect every person you come across. Connected to that point is the main point I actually wanted to make in this third point. Please don't make the mistake of going to Nigeria without letting anyone know where you are. Yeah. Please ensure that you have an emergency contact. Let the people that you interact with know that you have an emergency contact. And for goodness sake, switch the location finder on your phone on. If you're enjoying this video and you're new here, please hit the subscribe button for more content. If this is not your first time, please go ahead to hit the subscribe button. Last month, I had 30,000 new viewers on my channel, which means a great percentage of the people watching my content are not subscribing. Please don't do that. 
To all my loyal subscribers, a huge thank you for your unwavering support. Also, don't forget that we have now activated the channel membership on the channel. Please go ahead to join the channel membership to support the channel and to support my bid to go to Invictus 2025. Did you guys enjoy the reporting on one of the squaddies from the London venue of where Prince Harry attended the Invictus Games anniversary? This is what I want to do for the Invictus Games 2025. Please support this channel so I have the opportunity to go to Canada. Very shortly, I will be setting up a GoFundMe to support that project. But in the meantime, please go ahead to support the channel by joining the channel membership. Thank you. So let's continue, right? As I was saying, my next tip is stay humble. I know I talked about this in my third tip, but this point is so important that it's also my fourth tip. I just can't emphasize the importance of this point enough. Stay humble, my friends. Nigerians are highly educated and are straight shooters. They don't take mess and are very confident individuals. So leave your ego at the door, respect the culture, and you'll earn respect in return. To Nigeria's greatest embarrassment, power outage is a way of life in Nigeria. This can happen in the most unexpected of places. So save yourself a lot of stress. Pack a power bank with you when you're going. As a matter of fact, your power bank should have a backup. Don't say, I didn't tell you. Last but not the least, dress to impress, okay? Nigeria is a conservative country. Forget what you see in the Nollywood movies. Those movies don't reflect the mainstream Nigerian woman fashion. Nigerians are known for their fashion sense, but their fashion sense is different to how the West defines fashion. They do not respect naked dressing. To help you, I have compiled a few dress styles to help guide you on what the fashion expectation is in Nigeria. Of course, these suggestions are by no means prescriptive, but if you want to go and return in peace, the smartest thing to do is to dress conservatively. On the screen, this is an example of a dress that will not draw negative attention to you and will work well in Nigeria. It's a great daytime look and does look complimentary, doesn't it? Well, I think so anyway. For nighttime occasions, Nigerians are flamboyant to say the least. But if there was such a thing as a conservative flamboyant, Nigerians are it. If you happen to break out one of these styles, oh my God, Nigerians would love you because they would feel like you are trying to show the ultimate respect for them and their culture. And if you happen to be invited to a wedding or such like type of party, this is a cultural style that will work like chef's kiss in Nigeria. They would love you. They would literally adore you. They would say to you, oh my God, I am your doo-doo. Please fry me. <laughs> they would love you for the ages. Anything you want, you will get. Yes. Okay, guys, thank you for watching my TED Talk. I hope these tips helped and that you remember to apply them when in Nigeria. Leave a comment if any of these tips resonate with your own culture. That's all for now. Until next time, this is Wizzy signing out. Ciao.